Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder, marketing master Jim Ackerman here with today's episode of Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where you get to take a look at a marketing specimen and determine whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly from an effectiveness point of view. Then I get to tell you whether you're right or not, okay? Today, a simple postcard. It come, came in the mail from Fred Meyer Jewelers. This is what the message side looks like, okay? It says, uh, Memories in the Making. It's about jewelry from Fred Myers. And on the other side, uh, it has um, a, uh, uh, talks about a sale. All right, and it says 30% uh, off plus 10% off. Uh, okay, has some icons down the side about talking about their jewelry services. And um, it does also, by the way, have a little bit of a, a picture of a, a particular piece of jewelry on uh, the right hand side with uh, a, a price underneath it, price and item on the one side. Again, that's the one side, that's the other side. What I want you to do is take a look at both sides and uh, take as long as you want, pause the video if you need to, to, to really evaluate both sides of this and then you determine for yourself, do you think from a marketing effectiveness point of view, is it good, bad or ugly? Once you've made your determination, start the video again and I will render my verdict. Well, my verdict is in, is yours, I assume so, or you probably wouldn't have started the video again. So let's take a look at this. First thing is classic, even though this is a big company, uh, Fred Meyer Jewelers, big company, Fred Meyer stores all over the Western United States anyway, uh, they've made the classic error that frankly most small jewelry stores make. They put a headline in there that says memories in the making. Now that's supposed to be an emotional headline, but it really isn't a benefit oriented headline. There are a bazillion different things that could make memories and not necessarily good ones at that. They do have a picture of a product and a price associated with that product, uh, but it doesn't say what the regular price of the product is. And this may be the regular price of the product. We just don't know. It is put in a good position on the page, however. On the back, it talks about a sale uh, that is a three-day only sale. And um, it says 30% off selected jewelry items plus 10% off ticketed items. Well, what does that mean? What's the difference between a selected item and a ticketed item? Did that cause confusion for you as it did for me? Would you go in thinking it's 40% off everything as a result of what they put on there? And does, would the confusion make you want to do go more or not? I submit that confusion is a great killer to sales. And if you're confused about something, your answer will be to say no and simply discard it. Final mistake, one message on one side, different message on the other side. You don't know which one is going to get uh, seen first when it comes out of that mailbox. Do I look at the memories in the making side, in which case I'd probably just chuck it without looking at the other side, or do I look at the side that says 30 plus 10% off, 30% off plus 10% off, that might be enough to capture my attention. Big mistake not to make your main benefit available on both sides. So while it's a pretty piece, uh, it misses the mark on several key marketing principles. So. From the marketing master, it's definitely not good, it's probably not ugly, but it is bad. That's my verdict, love to hear your comments, put them in the comment box below. Share it with your friends, have a little debate with them in terms of what they think about the effectiveness of this specimen. And get them to subscribe to the Biz Kaboom channel so that you and they can benefit from the weekly infusion of important marketing insights in your continuing quest to get more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible.